Well, you can't come to Las Vegas without coming hey, to meet guys. this legend. What's up? Mr. Finance himself. What's up, man? Thanks so much for making it. Uh, we were already in town, so yeah. uh, I'm going to let you know right now we didn't come just to see you. Oh, it's, actually okay. his, it's actually his 40th birthday. Really? Today. Wow. Today. Right now. Gosh. So he out of his birthday, he was birthday, like, right? I want to come and be yeah. a part of this. What would you That's get? That's so him? cool. Yeah, a four hey, GT. Hey, hey. <laughs> we know what to say that we put you on the yeah. spot. I want, oh, like, I want a black stripe. Yeah. The blue will do. So, right, right, yeah. ex explain to our audience yeah. who you are, what you do, and why are we here at your very yeah. Beautiful so home. we're about to film a podcast on the iced coffee hour. Really looking forward to this one. But uh, yeah, I do YouTube videos, uh, real estate investing. Yeah, and that's I, what we know you from. And I love cars too. So this is a car I actually got because I, okay. I thought it would be a good investment. And so I bought this at, uh, it was actually on Bring a Trailer. Really? For 300 grand. This is right when COVID had just like barely started. And then so I guess it was a good time. And then the value shot up for these things. Wow. And, and now well, what's this worth? Probably 385. That's good. Yeah. That's good. That, I would say that's a, that's, that's a, a peak, they were like, they're all bidding for more than 400 grand, but they've come down a little bit since then. Manual gearbox. My, one of my favorites. Eight. And this is bone stock, by the way. Really? So like, I don't know a ton about Ford GTs. So that is a stock subwoofer yes. sitting in between the seats. Oh really? yeah. I did not know the Ford GT had that. Yeah. So can you guys, can you guys see that? That subwoofer right over there? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where to point on the reverse oh, yeah. camera. I like this side of your garage. Cool. Yeah, this um, is all for filming. So like this is the filming side of the garage. It's so cool. Yeah. And then the other side is just parking. Well, let's see what else you got over here parked. I'll let you go first. Okay, thank yeah. you. It's cold out It's so cold here, it's Vegas. I know. Freezing, so we brought the yeah. Canadian weather with us. Yeah. So you have a couple of Lotuses here. Uh, oh, this is a Tesla. This is a Tesla Roadster. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Cool. They look very similar yeah, at first glance. Very similar. So this is original yeah, Tesla yeah. Roadster. This is 2010. It's one of 26 in the color yellow. Wow. Yeah. That's so cool. So and then, and then this is a Lotus. Yeah. So this is the Lotus Evora, also a 2010. So the same year as the other one, but it's got a GTC body kit on it. I like that. So. I like it just the makes it look way more aggressive. Yeah. The what the are these worth nowadays for the original Tesla? Uh, anywhere between. 70 grand on the low end to probably 200 on the high end. Oh, just a variance? Yeah, it depends. Like the signature 100 cars are all selling over 150. And then you have like a rare color selling for more, really low mileage cars selling for more. You could find one on the low end with just high mileage. Do you drive? Yeah, I buy one for free if I you do. catch it in yeah. space. How's it drive? Fantastic. It's my favorite car to drive. Really? No one got that joke. I got it. See, laugh at that joke for David real quick. Yeah, laugh at <laughs> I feel that. Yeah, I, I feel validated. But yeah, this one I drive. This is the most fun. And it's perfect because the top just comes off. And yeah. in Vegas, when you have like good weather, it's so much Well, fun. this is technically good weather. It's just really cold. Yeah. This is really cool. This? Yeah, this? Is, this. Is, this a, is this a comforter? What is this? Uh, no, it's a pool floaty. It's a pool floaty. Yeah, check out the license plate on the car, by the way. How did you get that? It was available. <laughs> That's amazing. So now I'm just like, uh, with everything going on with Twitter, I'm afraid of driving it around that late. Now it's become like this political. So thing what's going on with Musk. Twitter? Because I'm out of the loop. I don't know. Yeah. So Elon Musk took over Twitter. Yes. And not everyone agrees with the way he's running it. Okay. So he's, well, he's got more political lately. It's also his now. He's private. He made it private. So he brought all the shares Correct. back. It's his. No one can say anything. He didn't do anything. Like pretty it's his. Much. Yeah, pretty much. It's like having a car. So, Only it has more power than the car. Yeah. Do you have a favorite out of the three? Roadster. That's really? hilarious. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. Alright, by far. It's so much fun. It's a really nimble car. It's really quick. The acceleration's fantastic. This is what I prefer to drive from anything. What's your daily driver? Uh one of these two. The Volvo? Uh the Volvo and then my fiance has the Audi, so we'll just take one of those cars. I like the Volvo. The Volvo's <laughs> yeah, the Volvo's great, yeah. You had that for a long time, haven't you? Uh no, actually. This was purchased from a friend's uh, mother who's selling the car. Oh. And so we picked it up. I grew up with a Volvo station wagon. Yeah. Very cool. Good, they're good cars. The kind of rusty red colored yeah. one. It was awesome. Great for our dogs. I had German yeah. Shepherds with my family when we grew up. When I was a kid, I grew up around German Shepherds. So we always had dogs in the back and then the kids and then the parents. Back in the day when like putting a seatbelt on was apparently optional. <laughs> good days. Yeah, the good days. Yeah. 
So we're here to do your podcast. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Cool. We'll go inside and then we'll give you guys a little uh, taste of what we talked about when we get up. Yeah, That's right cool. Yeah, so they go and they'll scan it at the top and then they'll be able to put it in there. So they this? Yeah. yeah so, so the Amazon dude opens it up with your packages so people can't steal it. It looks like a rough neighborhood too, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go MTV Crib style where you knock on the door and you're like, uh, come on in! Hi. Smile, you're like, you Is that a cat? Yeah, it's yeah, a security cat. cat. Security cats. Give me the eye. Yeah. Oops. Hold on. I have that password. Yeah. Uh, uh, I turn the camera away. I turn the camera away. That's right. Oh, cool. This is so cool. Here, I'll take my shoes off. Good. No, not a problem. My wife's on me about stuff like that. No shoes in the house. Check this out. We got straight up Finding Nemo. You do. You got Nemo. You got Dory in there as well. Dory. Oh, look at this. Look at the little one. That is Nemo right there. There's like mom and dad, and then there's Nemo. That's so cool. Who's this? Oh, that's Bailey. Oh, yeah. Where's Hi, Bailey. How you doing? Hello. Hi. Aw. This is cool. Explain this. Oh, you know what? We had a uh, interior designer come through and like get all of this stuff. So she bought this. I just thought that was cool, so I put it in the front. That is super cool. Because yeah. the whole mystery of this photo, if you don't know, is her smirk, and the way you look at it with her eyes changes people's perception of like what type of, you know, tone or feeling she's giving off. And as soon as you put the bubble gum over it, it really just now it's just the eyes. I had no idea. I didn't look that far anyway. I just thought it was coming. <laughs> so this is the Mona Lisa. Yeah, that's the, I know. That's and they're having some... No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Off to the podcast room of the this house. This is something I'm really proud of. We got all the original Goosebumps books framed. Really? I don't know if you remember that. Yeah. Stuff. yeah that's right. All that is so cool. So, my daughter would lose it over this. Yeah. My youngest, my 10-year-old. I used to check these out just for the covers. I'll never read them. Yep. Me too. Oh, this is nice and simple. And then we also have a viewing room on the other side too. My goodness. So this is it. So simple. Yeah. So... Oh, thanks for the watch. That's crazy. And I'll show you. We also have a viewing room. If we have more than you have like three to four people, room? yeah, because it gets hot in this room. Like you kind of have a feeling when you close the door. Okay, I gotta see so this. Show you the viewing room here. All right, all right. It's straight. I'll follow you right here. Yeah. 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 That's crazy. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of gear. So then we have. Oh. Microphone. Oh, hilarious! Attached to the um. Look. Oh, this is sweet. This is oh, dude. This is where he films his content. Yes. Yeah, so I always watch your videos movie. here. Oh yeah. And then we have this That's TV. cool. So, um, Check that, that out. Exciting. That looks so good. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, lighting is important to you. I like this. <laughs> Eventually, I'll build my dream home in my garage. We'll have glass so I can see the cars and everything. What's your home now? What's that? What's oh, you your home, now? Now, home now? Me, my home now is a home I'm really grateful, like grateful for, and I really do dollars. appreciate my home. But I like a more modern home so if i could design the home i would love to just live in off the top of my head like in this moment it'd be more modern really yeah because your house is amazing and i also don't need like our home is like three yeah. stories long story short and like we barely use downstairs and we only sleep upstairs because that's where the bedroom is you spend 99 percent of the time on the main floor yeah so i would build like a big home that's one, one level story. yeah, yeah not, not three stories up and down although it helps me get a bit of exercise Avocado socks. Right. Always be repping. So, where do we stick him? Where do you want to be? It gets hot in that room. You run hot? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll sit in there. Okay. Cool. Let's go. Just security. Let's get this started. <laughs> Let's do it. Show us how it's done. Um, so, we have one mic on the one side. So, Damon, I'm thinking we could start with you. Does that work? Sure. Whatever we'll you want. Swap out, swap around. Whatever you want to do. I know just watch. Anyway, oh, sorry. I, didn't, I, I forgot you were filming. No, it's all it's good. Cool. I like Thank it. you. Our first one. Well, first and only, but it's cool. our first. Thank I you. I like Thank the 210 blue. Thank you. It's nice. Cool. Cool. Which one do you wear, Jack? The LK original. Uh, the liver thing. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, he said the Liver King yeah. one. He gave it to me. He, he gave he gave Jack a Rolex. Yeah. What? Did he really? Yeah. yeah. Is Jack is serious? serious? Is he I mean, he's huge. Yeah, he's yeah. massive. He, he walked in wearing the watch, and then halfway through the podcast, he's like, just by the way, you take the watch. Yeah. Like, this is yours. Yeah. yeah. You eat no liver for that. Just give it to you. I ate liver. But it wasn't for that. I just and ate he ate testicle. I ate testicle too. Delicious, okay. by the way. What was that like? What was what was eating what the liver king was eating like? So I went into it expecting it to taste disgusting, but believe it or not, it kind of tastes like sushi, just a little bit worse. So like Wh I had hard. Which which one? We gotta start. Which one? Both. I mean, testicles tasted um, good. You'd that was yeah. no. That was <laughs> yeah. testicles were definitely not my favorite of all of the bunch. Also, kidney tastes like urine because you know it filters. It, does. it yeah. filters the urine, so it tastes just like urine. Heart was good, and liver was actually pretty question? tasty. Yes. How do what urine taste like? Urine? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, it, it just tastes as, it's, uh, as Graham's <laughs> urine smells, not my urine. My <laughs> urine doesn't have a scent. So. Based on... Whoa. You're really going down a so hole here. Graham doesn't like to flush the toilets because it costs an extra penny. Oh. So he <laughs> is that real? Is that real? Urine. Well, you save it up, and then you flush at the end of the day. See, you build up basically a, a log of urine. Did wow. you flush me into the toilet just now? I'm sorry. Yeah, Dude, no really? It's a dog right there. Yeah. My bad. With it's interest. Turned a lot of water. It was quick. With yeah, really good. With interest. Yeah. Is that a, a legitimate calculation you're saying right now? It does actually cost. Well, it's a penny a gallon. So every a lot of toilets are a gallon per flush. Yeah. Basically. Well, no, actually uh, seven gallons per flush. What? Because of the toilet. Yeah. It's so seven, seven, seven cents, cents a flush. Yeah. That really bothers yeah. you, doesn't it? Look at this. Terrible. Because imagine you do that 10 times a day, seven, almost a dollar a day. Over a year, that's $300. If you, I, I if, refuse if you to that, believe that it's 70 cents no, a day. It's probably, flush no, that's, no, it's probably a penny a flush, yeah. realistically. Yeah. We don't have the industrial toilets here. Mm. No. So, not that bad to eat. Um, what was it like meeting the Liver King? He's really nice. He's a sweetheart. Yeah. Oh, oh, by the way, did you meet him before, before or after? Before. Oh, before. Before. When he was still yeah. saying he was natural. Yes. So, did you guys believe that? Uh, no, I had suspicions, but you know what? I had no word to, no reason to distrust him, but I had suspicions. I don't you had no reason to distrust him no, besides I mean, his cause physique, because he's, he's always like just been against it and always said it, so. I just trust him. I mean, yeah, I mean, also, that's good though. That's what it says a lot about you that yeah. you go to a positive. You look at the positive in people yeah. versus being skeptical and looking for the negative. Yeah, I mean, it's not surprising. But he's like been very against like ever saying that he did do it. So it's like well, he was selling he was selling I, stuff, right? I don't have the expertise to be able to call that out. I'll put it that way. Like I'm yeah. not the one to be like, no, that's for sure. I have no idea. Yeah. To be honest. Well, he was he was selling like allegedly natural supplements and stuff, right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. All right. So yeah. we had uh, we had raw ostrich in Japan with the yakuza in the back of a restaurant. Good story. I imagine it probably tastes the same. It was like fleshy. It just tastes like sushi, just not as yeah. not as good as sushi, Cold. basically. I think there was honestly less flavor than sushi. Yeah, like a very meaty, sort yeah. of like earthy. Did you salt it at all? No. No, salt 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 no. Come on, let's go. Just Dave, won't, it's, Dave, it's won't, Dave, 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 Dave won't stop with the questions. Pepper? Pepper? Well, like, got maybe, sent to it. Uh, some it suck. By some, some subscribers. Man. There are some buttons over here, gentlemen. And I intend to push them. Oh. I'll push my buttons. I must admit though, your lighting is amazing. Who does the lighting design for you guys? Uh, this was Alex. Alex. He's not here right now, but he was the one who did a lot of this. Um, I know. I noticed he saved like nineteen dollars using two by four instead of metal for the uprights. What iced coffee do you guys give me? What iced coffee? Oh, is that do you fun? want some iced coffee? Do you want some? Yes, please. I okay. love coffee. Really? Yeah. Do you want cream in it? What do you want? Just uh, plain. <laughs> Look on David's face right now. Uh, black. Black coffee? Okay. Didn't show water, I'm supposed to drink it. I've been there for two months. Sorry, sure. guys. Right. I'm actually going to scoot. I just want to make sure I'm not going to get tangled up in any of the wires. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Right there. That looks good. Is that okay? How close, like, these mics are directional, so, like, just talking like this works? Uh, I, I... Jack. You're here with Damon Fryer from Daily Driven Exotics. How was that for an intro? That, that was, was amazing. amazing. Really good. Thank you. That might be the best intro we've ever had on the podcast. I, I agree with that. Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> and we're done with the podcast. That went on for over two hours. And I'm a very detailed, long-winded storyteller, so I hope that all works out. Dave, Skinny, and myself now need to head back to the hotel. Skinny's wife 
has been blowing them up because it's his actual birthday today. And there's like this whole group of people who came to Vegas to be here for Skinny and his birthday. And he wanted to come to this podcast. We told him like, podcasts are long. He's like, yeah, so, 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 so it's no problem. Now it's four o'clock and we got to go back to the hotel. You guys, I just found a really interesting feature of the SVJ. See how it says 9,000 RPM? Well, watch when I slow down here. I'm following Dave in traffic. Watch when I slow down. It's going to fill in a bit of the gap between 85 and 9. So it won't let me redline to 9 watts. Let's see when it does it here. I'm almost at. There, you see it? You see how yeah, that... That's a similar thing. So that right now my redline is like 85, 83 RPM. When I'm moving above like 35 miles an hour, it goes to 8,500 RPM. Yeah, that's like what mine does. Mine goes from like what looks like about 8,600 RPM and goes, lets me, or 8,700 RPM, lets me go all the way to like 9,000. That's crazy. Well guys, mine stays at 87. That's making about that 1,000 or more from Houston, which is the same thing. I've never, ever, ever noticed that until just now. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> ah, that's really cool. What are you doing? I want to run to my hotel room and put my stuff away. I'm going to carry this camera. What are you showing me? Two, three. Happy birthday, Chris. Oh. Well, why is it going? Where's it going through? I can hear. Oh, then. Oh, it's such a trip. That's Marina's class today. <laughs> so the whole class the whole said class. happy birthday, Chris. That's about half a class. Don't feel so special. Got him. A lot God. of empty seats in there. <laughs> Whole class didn't even want to show up to they're, say happy they're birthday. They're taking a spirit flight to Vegas. Who is? Spirit. Half the class. Come celebrate? Yeah, they were trying to come Oh, is there children? Spirit. Why would you want <laughs> so, so Why would you want children at your party when you're 40, Chris? Oh, my God. Hey, Valerie. Valerie. <laughs> hey? uh, Val. Valerie. Val. Oh, yeah, hey, Val, people will see this. Hey, if anyone out there is interested in my friend Val, ValPal21 on Instagram. If you want to know, Val's single, but you have to be <laughs> in your mid 20s and you have to live at home. Uh, yes. Yes. Those are the prerequisites. Just so you know. Yeah. The lower the ambition, the higher the chances. That's right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That was a joke. The opening was there. <laughs> <laughs> She hasn't physically right. in her mouth said no yet. She's no. at a loss of words. Oh, no. I am at a loss for words. What are you looking for? What are you looking for in a man? This is your platform. Oh, boy, I mean. This is DD dating. <laughs> yeah. What are you looking for? You better put it out. Oh, 35 and over. Okay. What else? Yeah, okay, more than <laughs> This is what. This, this, this is. Hey, hey, hey. This is why she's a hard time with guys. You have to be specific okay, and you have to aim high. She's I'm going not low. looking. Okay, 35, I'm keep going. Looking. Keep going. 35, and you were just something else. What not was it? Looking. We were at the bar last night. You couldn't stop looking. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we'll get back to you. This girl's in denial. Okay, tonight is the official birthday party night. What are we doing, gang? Dinner. Dinner, Beauty obviously. And Essex. Beauty in Essex. Did you know that Beauty in Essex is actually a pawn shop? Did you know what? So you're taking me to a cheap Fun dinner? Facts. So we're going to a pawn shop for dinner. Fun what are we facts. what are we pawning off? Valerie. Birthday boy? Valerie! Dave Valerie. Sal Dave Valerie! <laughs> Who said Val? Fucking wow. Brad! Fucking wow. Brad. Oh my gosh. I had no part in that Valerie Damn. video. Oh, Damn. I know we're in Vegas, the pimping is on all time Woo. high right now. Top G! <laughs> Street pimping. Hustlers University. Wait, oh my God. Away, what, click, it's all a joke, click, by the click, way. Click. click after that. A little spot down. Downstairs. Going to the click. Okay. <laughs> may or may not film some of that. Probably be in another video. Stay tuned for that. If it ends up in this video, I was trying to edit this and obviously didn't have enough content. <laughs>